Axial Lab Innovation Summit 2019. If you go back 10 years, and, and I was in Dubai, you know, working with a, with a customer, and, and they're really struggling because, you know, they have bought all this nice package software from one of the major vendors, and now they're completely stuck because, you know, they don't, that is rigid, and now they want to be basically change the business, and now they have to literally rip off whatever they have done and start off again. Today what we see is people are actually building their software because they have figured out that, you know, uh, off-the-shelf software doesn't work because your microservice is built for your taste. And this guy who has built the Scots has made it for everybody's taste. So it is the buffet versus the a la carte. And, and that really creates a lot of challenges. This is a huge uh, uh, venture. Uh, we, are, we are actually in the UAT. And uh, just to give you the scale, uh, it has used, and uh, the last I counted, we have used approximately 22 different technologies. Uh, this has uh, close to, if I remember on the top of my head, around 150 microservices. Uh, orchestrated using EC, uh, AWS and stuff like that. But uh, I don't want to, you know, we have used, we had to go ahead and use some of the off-the-shelf products for this, uh, and that, that created so much of challenges, it's, it's not even funny. So I just wanted to, you know, take this session to talk about that microservices, when you were building something, when you were building a microservice, obviously, you know, with our Breeze framework, we also have a provision to, uh, to make sure that you know your microservice is can also talk to uh, something which is which is a COTS, right? So if you look at the integration application blueprint of Breeze, here we talk about you know like the integration with existing business applications, right? SAP, for example, you know SAP doesn't have uh, uh, it's it's not kind of a microservice architecture, but it also gives you certain APIs and and SharePoint or Google Apps, Microsoft Dynamics. These are all things which. Uh, which you know fits into our Breeze platform very well. So, if you actually look at it, then from a Breeze perspective, we have probably covered like 90% of your use cases. Uh, there was one case, you know, which we were not able to fit in, and, and we got into a situation where we had to uh, integrate with our microservices um, a, a product called uh, ClickView. or ClickSense, they call it now, and, and, and another product of Click called Inprinting. This is about integrating Click, which is kind of a reporting tool. It's a BI analytics uh, tool, basically, which generates pixel-perfect reports. But what happens after the reports are generated? It has to go out of the door. It, we need to store it. We need to uh, you know, give it as a link. OK, so this is what we are trying to do in the whole uh, setup here, basically. So, so I will talk about the limitation. It's a distribution of reports based on the user preferences, something like if the user wants a report uh, which need to be sent to him by email, or a print vendor, so it doesn't support. So tracking key performance indicators like, so when the document comes, when it got processed, and when it got distributed, so the tracking is not there in Click. We are caught between two cots. So what we really wanted to do was, you know, we wanted to build a wrapper service around Click tool itself. And uh, we wanted this microservice to be both event-driven as well as domain-driven, this particular microservice we, we started calling as correspondence domain because what it does is it, it generates the report, stitches it, and then sends it out of the door. This was supposed to you know, generate and distribute uh, about 500 plus document types in both, in both the versions like you know, on-demand and batch. And the number 500 is pretty big. Right? We don't want to code for all the 500 documents. So that's the reason what we did was you know, we started thinking like you know, how can we make this generic? Okay, well, reusable. Okay, so to handle this huge amount of document types. Okay, so, so that's where you know, we kind of made it fully configurable. This is a complete automated end-to-end -end process, uh, which we'll see how it works. We wanted this to be scalable, uh, which can do parallel processing of multiple events. Uh, we wanted it to be resilient as well as self-healing. Okay. And they wanted this solution to be multi-tenant. Okay, so, uh, so that's how this was completely built. This is a, a healthcare company, and uh, it has to be PHI compliant. So because of that, they need to under, they need to have a track like when did the document request come in, uh, what time did it get generated, 
uh, what time it was actually went out of the door after printing too, basically. So they have to maintain all the status and statistics. Uh, everything is completely dockerized. We are using AWS services. Axiom Lab Innovation Summit 2019.